welcome back. My name is Morgan and this is my channel Pisces Paperbacks and today I want to share with you my TBR list for the Black Lit Challenge. The booktuber The Artisan Geek, I believe the channel name is, uh, came up with this really cool readathon for the month of February which is Black History Month in America and I really wanted to take part. Um, I definitely don't read nearly as diversely as I want to. Um, this is probably because a lot of what I read are like pretty old historical romances, um, like the ones that can easily be bought at like for 50 cents at a library sale. And the romances that I buy usually publish between the years like 1980 and 2000. Like, like historical romance really wasn't that diverse and it's really a shame. So I've made it a goal this year to read more diversely. Specifically, I'd love to read by more black authors. So this is a really good opportunity for me. I do also wanna share because I am going to be reading a lot of books from this list, maybe not during this specific um, uh, challenge but throughout the year there's this really cool uh, online magazine called Zora and they published a list of 100 pieces of writing poetry nonfiction novels collections of essays uh, by black authors black female authors uh, throughout the history of America over the last I want to say 170 years and they're broken down into different age times so there's like post-civil war uh post i don't know world, like world war the first half of america the harlem renaissance like like modern or more modern it's really really cool it's a really comprehensive list and i am my plan is to read at least one book from that list this entire like every month this entire year just because like that's something that i'm really interested in and i want to make sure that i as a reader am getting that kind of well-rounded view of womanhood in america so that aside, I am going to be participating in the Black Lit Challenge. Basically, there are four, kind of five challenges that you can read over the course of the month of February. And here are my books for that. I don't know what order the actual prompts are in. So these are just the ones that are like in the pile next to me. But the first book I'm going to talk about fulfills the challenge of a book written by a black author before the 21st century. And that is uh, Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. This was a gift given to me by my mom, mom for Hanukkah. It's a very well, he's a very well known black author in America. And I've always been interested in reading about him and reading some of his work. Giovanni's Room is also the name of the oldest LGBT bookstore slash coffee store in Philadelphia. So I think this is like an LGBT book as well and I'm really interested to see how that works out and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. This book was published in 1956 so this definitely fulfills the challenge of being prior to the 21st century. I just realized you can like really see the messy room behind me so like don't look at this but the next book is going to be fulfilling the challenge of read a book with a black character on the cover and I'm going to be reading With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, this is a book that I really want to read this year. It was a gift and I'm very excited. Uh, the other book that I read by this author, The Poet X, is about a girl experiencing being an Afro-Latina girl in Harlem and this is about a black girl in Philadelphia dealing with teen motherhood and wanting to be a chef and I'm just very excited. It's a beautiful book, it sounds really good and I'm gonna read it next month. I'm very, it's, it feels like a good way to warm up the season, you know, since like this thing is happening in February. And it's still kind of cold. Um, I mean, it's not cold where I live, but I don't know. I just, I'm in the mood for this one. The next two books for this uh, challenge, I'm gonna be reading on audio. So like, I don't have them with me, but I'll put up a picture. And the first one is to complete a challenge reading a book out of your comfort zone. I'm going to be reading Sula by Toni Morrison. Um, Toni Morrison is like an, incredibly well-known American black f women author and I really want to read some of her work because I know that it's like touched a lot of people um, and this is out of my comfort zone because it is I believe just literary fiction it follows uh, two women as they grow up and how their lives are different as they grow up uh, and I am a little nervous to read it because I just read like two pretty long out of my comfort zone books specifically where the crawdads sing and american gods although american gods they were both they were both very good um so i'm ex i'm having a lot of technical issues <laughs> but i'm excited to read uh this book it's going to be really good um i got a cat so that's fun and the next book to fulfill the last of the four challenges is to read a book what was it 
by an author not from the UK or America and I'm going to be reading I believe it's called We Should All Be Feminists by I'm Amanda Ngozi Achichi. I really don't have the name in front of me. I know it's it's kind of like that. Um, this is, I believe, based on a TED Talk that she gave that I watched and I really enjoyed the TED Talk and I would really like to read this book. I'm also going to be listening it, to it on audio. It's only 45 minutes. These are absolutely not the only four books that I'm going to be reading next month. They're also not the only four books by black authors that I'm going to be try to, trying to read next month. So that's going to be really fun. And then the last challenge that's like kind of not, it's not like one of the challenges, but The Artist and Geek, you really have to go see it. She came up with this like, so the such a cool idea, but basically um, she came up with an AI, <laughs> um, like a video, like she is like, this AI named, uh, Ina, I think it's Ina. This is kind of weird because my mom's name is Ina and they're spelled the same way, but they're pronounced differently. So I think it's Ina and you like, she's like, what book would you like to read? And it gives you two options. And it's kind of one of those like choose your own adventure things. And then at the end, it like picks a book for you to read. So like, this is like optional, but the book that I was given was A Blade So Black by an author whose name I don't remember at all. It is a Alice in Wonderland retelling. I've never read an Alice in Wonderland retelling. I've never read Alice in Wonderland. I read Alice Through the Looking Glass. So I'm very excited to read this. I really can't wait. It's very, I think, out of my comfort zone. I honestly, I'm trying to think like, how often do I read retellings? Be being a retelling is not usually a selling point for me. Like, it's cool, but it's never something that will like push me over the edge into wanting to read a book. So I think this is going to be really fun. I've heard a lot of people really love it. And those are the five books. We Should All Be Feminists, Sula, Giovanni's Room, and uh, With the Fire on High. So I would say that three of those books are definitely more serious than I usually, usually the kind of books I read. So it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. And I'm also planning to read, um, Diverse romances like uh, Beverly Beverly Jenkins, Courtney Milan. Um, Courtney Milan isn't black, but she writes diverse romances, and there's been this whole thing going on with the Romance Writers Association. But I'm not going to get into that. And I think that is going to be the end of this very frantic, all over the place <laughs> TBR video. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.